I'm gonna make it to say that this is really super easy project. So I made this um yesterday, so I see I have the remaining fabric left here. So I we're really just gonna make it today. I'm gonna show you guys how you could actually make this. So let's get started, guys. So for this cooling curve, you're gonna measure like a 70 long by 25 wide. I'm gonna be doing this uh, two uh, different side to be able to turn it around. So uh, when you are done measuring it, we just gone ahead right now and stitch these two angle straight down. So let's get started guys. We put the right side together right side I put some pins just put a few pins you don't need to put too much pins on it okay so now <coughs> we're gonna start stitching and uh, just put some few spin to hold it up and later on we stitch it okay this is super 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 easy project you know winter is coming and places are getting cold up you need really protection for your neck and blah 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 so now um, we start stitching it I put my needle down and bring it closer from the beginning back stitch back stitch make sure you put your fingers together on As I said earlier, this is this first part, easy project. You can actually make this about 10 for Christmas gift. You guys know Christmas is about to come in. You look at that. Love things to make. And this is something. So as you can see, we've just finished stitching the other side. We'll move now to the other side, stitch it straight downward. Uh, don't worry if your fabric is a little bit longer. That's because I... And one more important thing when you're doing this, uh, this, uh, you know, this pudding scarf is uh, you have to use a stretchy fabric, a little bit elastic both of them okay back stitch whenever you're starting the extra fabric we're going to cut it up later on this is a super 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 easy project to make a home for christmas as a gift for whoever you want to make See, this fabric is a little bit thicker, so you don't need to stitching. And you need a little bit of fabric that is a little bit thick and warm, since it's warm. It's going to be for your neck. Go back stitch when you get to the end. We we'll remove our pin. So now, what we're going to do right now, we're going to cut the extra fabrics left that we don't really want it cut it on remove it and trim it over so now <coughs> we have trim what we don't really want to and um, for this i don't really have to zigzag because i don't have a zigzag sewing machine I'm using the machine because I have zigzag, but don't worry, this guys, this is going to go inside. So let me go show you the important part of this. So, so guys, now that we have finished uh, stitching everything up, you're going to turn the right side. This is my right side of my fabric. You know what? You just go ahead, press it up if you want to, but I'll, I'll do that when I'm done with everything. This is the right side of my fabric, as you can see. Both 
right side so I'm just gonna wrap it this way so the bottom right side this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna hold it as you can see let me grab because uh, wrap like this I hold the both right side then I send my hand inside this is my hand inside and then I'm gonna pull it inside while holding the other side so we match the seam of the we match the seam together for it to look nice and good project and also matching the other side of the seam When you're done, right now, this is um, opportunity, just go ahead, uh, put your pins, you can put your pins straight like this so you'll be able to sew over the pins, okay, be preferable this way, so you can see this is a little bit double because I had to, the fabric wasn't really thick, so I had to double it and sew it over, this is actually for fabric um i'm just putting some few pins and now what we're going to do we're going to stitch it around while leaving like a two centimeter away from here this is we're going to leave two centimeter to be able to send our finger inside or our hand inside and turn it around okay remember <clears throat> leaving two centimeters so you'll be able to turn it around okay so I will start from the side seams, making sure everything was well placed. My thread is, uh, I put pink on top, then white under, so everything's going to match. So now we, we will start stitching it. Whenever you start backstitch to secure the stitching, so that when you're turning, you can stitch like um, let's say two centimeter away from the top half. It depends on you, or one centimeter. It depends on uh, if it is a little bit longer. You just stitch two centimeter. If not, you just go ahead and stitch one centimeter. Okay. When it's slowly down, so when I get where I want to leave those two centimeter, I back stitch, cut my thread. Some people don't cut thread when I cut it, and then continue from the other side. So I skip. I leave two centimeter to be able to turn it around. If you want, you can just leave it five centimeter. That little hole that you'll be able to turn the fabric around. Okay. I start again at backstage before continuing. you so guys always check your your thread if it is sewing well or you have an issue with the thread
guys we done we just gonna send our finger inside grab it this way send the right side outside This is what we got at the end. You can see. Um, now what we're going to do, we're going to stitch this this small little hole. Stitch it with your hand if you want. You could just go ahead use a sewing machine, but I uh, will just go ahead use my hand to stitch. Give some sort of stitches, hand stitch, and uh, let me put the thread up, guys. So now we're going to stitch the, the hole here. We're just going to give it a nice look. Same. You can give invisible stitch if you want to. I'm going to use invisible stitch here. give it nice and small like half centimeter stitches so you won't be able to see it when you get to the end stitch it up what it look like you just go ahead you could just go ahead press it up so guys this is what it looked like at the end I'm just so happy it came out where you can record it when it's cold I hope that you guys love it and please don't forget to like comment and share also subscribe hit the notification button below so you can get notified each and every time I post a YouTube tutorial on my channel thank you all for being here see you on my next project bye then either turn it around and see see what it look like at the end guys so that's too Thank you all for being here. Thank you so much, guys. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share. See you on my next project. Bye.